Hello, I'm Sam Crow. I'm in my craft room and I'm finding it hard to get anything done. So I thought I'll play with my jelly plate, get some backgrounds done and show people how I do it. Um, I've been promising a video and I haven't done one. So this is it. Rough and ready as it comes video. So I always warm up my jelly plates before I start to really take any prints. So I'm going to show you how I warm them up, what I do. I use a lot of different paints to get to get them going and then I start to see my colour scheme and then I start to put my favourite paints on to get my proper prints. Right, so let's go. You see this one's already covered. It's from an old project. I was using sellotape and transferring the hearts to a journal page. So that's been left. That's fine. That'll soon come off. So I'm going to clean this one. This was for the same. All this is too dry. You can't use this. So we're just going to, like I say, warm up the jelly plate, take off the, the bits we don't want, and then we'll get going. So for this, you need, oh, you need a paint that lets you come out of the tube and quite a thick paint if possible. Excuse me, that was the paint. Right, so let's get rolling and let's get going. You can see I've got three jelly plates here. I've just bought this gorgeous little inky dinky one, isn't that lovely? And I've got the circular one too, in there for a special project. I always work with more than one jelly plate in front of me, always. Because I don't just use them as jelly plates, I use them as palettes. And I use them for putting pattern on and, and, and just making as many backgrounds as I can in one go. So, and also, I use different things. I don't go in with white card all the time and then chop it up. Sometimes I come in with what I, I want to work with or what I want to recycle. These are all Jamie Oliver leaflets that I used to buy and I used to do the parties. No good now, but they'll be great as jelly prints. So, but to start with, I'm gonna use paper because all this just needs cleaning up. So. We're not looking for anything here yet, so I'm not putting any pattern into it. I'm just getting off what's on. But even these probably will end up as the patch papers or something, as a background. So isn't that lovely? Now, you could see that came off really easily. This is really a paint that's um, for fabrics and for special projects, really. It's not thick enough to clean a jelly plate. You can see everything's left. Maybe if I'd left it half an hour or so, it might work, but I can't be bothered. So, I'm going to get different paint out. System 3 acrylic buff. Perfect for clearing everything. Of course, nearly all mine are running out. So, what you don't want, you don't want gold, that won't clean it. You don't want translucent, that won't clean it. What you need is a good old solid paint. So here we go. Try it again. Not too much, not too little. All trial and error. Right, so. See, now that's starting to look like I would want to print off that, but I'm not going to yet. I'm just determined to clean these up. So. This blue might actually keep the um, buff on top a bit too wet because it'll still be wet underneath. So it'll probably take a couple of sheets of scrap paper, which is why I've just started with paper. I don't really want to waste anything. So let's have a go at these two first then. Oh look, two at once. <laughs> there you go, the nothing. So let's do it again. Obviously, that one's going to take a while to clean. Or, you know, I could just put it under a tap if I wanted. But it's when you start getting all these dregs of, of the clean-ups, that's when I start doing my real prints because they're what I really love about the jelly plate. See, it's starting to get nice already. So, keep going, keep going. So, this one's a little bit drier. So, I'm going to uh, have a go at this now. And just rub on, not too hard, but quite firm, and then peel off. See, I could tell straight away that peeled off far too easy. 
um, it's still wet from the blue paint I put on. So let's go again in the buff around here. And the buff is much thicker, it just starts pulling everything off. And it is better really if you let it dry a bit. So I'll, I'll keep working on this one here. Let's get some more buff on here. This one might be it might be too heavy because I've hand I've finger painted onto this one here that I'm doing now. So obviously the paint's a little bit more thick than thicker than if I um used a roller. So I may have to end up putting this one under the tap. But we'll see. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think it's gonna have to it's gonna have to go under the tap. But you know the good thing about jelly plates? They're double sided. So I'll turn it over, slap it down, deal with it later. Okay, I'll put it on my plate. And these plates are from Clarity, the brilliant and Clarity stamp. Because you can pick up your jelly plate and just print with it. They're really good. So, right. And it keeps your mat clean. I've got one clean mat. I've got ten mats and one, one of them's clean. I'm not a clean worker. So I'm just going to spread this a bit more to dry it off a bit more. Give it a rub over. See all the paint that's under this one, look, that's because they're all finger painting and just different colours. Yeah, this isn't going to do it. So what I'll do now, I kind of knew this, but this is what I do. I warm up my jelly plate, this is what I do all the time. I just have a little pick like this. Don't put your nails in it though. I'm just pinching it, pinching off the paint. And then I'm not too fussy because you'll get all little gaps and stuff on your print. Which is fine by me. So let's go. Just pinch, pinch, pinch. Just get the thick bits off. And then it'll start coming. Of course, I could do this with sellotape as well. If I could find my sellotape. Uh, is it a hand? There you go. So. Let's go again. Bit of sellotape. Keep pressing down because this is actually how I was doing the project anyway. I was lifting it up to put into my journal book, which is why I wanted it a bit thicker than normal. Come on, you know you want to come off, All right? Okay, just because I'm on film, right? So this is it. So this is I go through this every time because I'm not very good at. Cleaning up my jelly plate after my projects, although that actually was in quite good condition for me. So now I'm just going to start. I'm just going to start playing, right? So this one keeps slipping off, so I'll put it there. This is on the uh, Clousy stamp, stamping block. It's perfect for this size jelly plate. I think this is the um, the three three by five. Love it. And there I've got the um, the four inch round. Which I love, but today I, I've got a thing about circles. I do struggle with circles, so today I'm not doing round. I'm doing oblong is my favourite of all shapes. So we go on square, right? Square, oblong, whatever. So here we go. This is where I'm bringing me nice paints now. Um, paper artsy. Oh, pick a colour, pick a colour. These are delicious colours, aren't they? And they look lovely on the jelly plate. They're not as thick as some paints, but you don't have to have your thick paint every time. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go, don't normally do this. I'm going to go pink and I'm going to go turquoise. That's the wrong turquoise. I'm going to go orchid and smurf and see what we come up with. Love the names of these as well. Right, so let's go. I'm going to work on one. I think Orchid and Smurf need a little bit of guacamole to break them up, don't you? So, excuse my hands going everywhere, but it's how I work. <laughs> so, let's do a little bit on here, a little bit on here, and that's enough to cover the three. So... There you go. So now I'm just going to cover them all. I'm going to start trying to get some patchy areas. Too much on there, so I'm going to leave that one for now. 
So straight away, I'm going to bring in some of my recycling card because I want quite thick paint on these to cover this. It doesn't have to be all covered, but I want most of it covered. So let's just come in with this. These are good backgrounds. These, all I'm doing today is, is just backgrounds. I just want backgrounds. And it is the thing I love to do the most, really, is just make backgrounds. <laughs> then I never want to cover them. I just want to keep them as a background. <laughs> I do struggle with that. So. so there you go. That's looking nice. That'll be nice. So with these, there's all sorts. You could just... Oh, that would be nice as well. You could just um, literally hand paint on top of these as well. Do all your mixed media stuff or whatever. But this just gets it going to start with. There you go. Now I've got all of them covered. So let's do different things and different ones. Right. First, we need a little bit of pattern. Like that. Um, need a little bit of this. This is a stencil I did. This is called Sam's Eggs. I love it, obviously. A little bit of this. So I'm just I'm just putting the pattern, actually bringing the pattern to the print rather than the other way around. You won't see a lot of this when I'm finished anyway. I think this black warrant's taken up one of these. I think maybe a couple of these little cards for this one. These all look lovely. You can stick them in your journal books, put a bit of writing on them, stamp on them, whatever you want to do. They just all look a bit more interesting than uh, normal. See, obviously you can do it thinner than that. See, the next one would be thinner. It'd just be a hint of a pattern. See, so that would be nice in a little kid's journal book or whatever. This one, hmm. we'll leave that one as it is. So, let's take this off. There. So you're starting to just get a bit of print. Nothing's going to look great just yet, so be patient. Right, so I'm going to do a bit of card all over the place. So now I'm going to come in with a different colour because this pink is really annoying me now. I can't bear pink, but I do love it with black, I love it with green, and I like it sometimes with blue. This blue would be nicer, but I'm doing this for people who like pale colours. So... Ah, see, two baby blue. I would have to add something to that. It's a gorgeous colour on its own. But it just needs a little something, don't you think? So anyway, it's not for me today, so I'm going to put this on here. Can you see now, we're already starting to really get somewhere. These are starting to look nice. Even though I don't like the colours, I know they're going to make, start to make nice prints. Well, I do like the colours. I don't like this colour mix, that's all. So... And you can go straight back in. See, I think a colour like that, it definitely needs, say, something like your blueberry. Now, wouldn't that be gorgeous? You can see it now. Blueberry pink. What's the pink? Blueberry orchid and smurf. Beautiful. So, just want a little bit of this. And this is how I work all the time. I'm jumping from one colour to another, one pattern to another jumping from one jelly plate to another and that's how you just come up with some lovely stuff that you just didn't expect to come up with you know it's lovely so I'm going to put this on a bit and I'm going to slide it a bit I'm going to do that there as well this this is my favorite this I love it it's just a bit of um it's kitchen uh, it's for doing sewing you know tapestries and stuff to, for making your own patterns I'm going to use some normal card some normal stuff on the go here yet. Have I actually got any normal card out? No. This is a Clarity Jelly card, which gives you an edge on this one, which I love that. I love the fact you've already got your printed edge, like your rough edge. Because sometimes if you do a big sheet and you cut it up, you haven't got any rough edges because you're cutting into the middle. But with this, already got your rough edges except I'm putting enough paint on but that's not a problem so where's that gone let's do this again so I didn't wet this one enough because I took it off that jelly plate so let's just go and this isn't going to pick it all up again but that's kind of what I want I 
I always end up doing double sided, obviously, on purpose. <laughs> Not there, lush, isn't that lush? So, see, now you can work the opposite way. So, now I think that needs a little bit. I actually think it needs a little bit of the orchid back in it. So, I'm going to put that on there. This is where the jelly plate becomes a palette. So, then you get your little stencil. Can you see everything's getting messed up now? Get your little stencil out, pick up the paint, place it down, pick up the paint, place it down, pick up the paint, place it down. Transferring the pattern basically. And there, I don't know if you can see, you can just see just a hint, but it makes all the difference because you haven't got just a big deep patch of of one thing. So I can do that a bit with the blue as well. And then and just add more colour back in. See that blue for me, it's gorgeous colour, isn't it? But if you don't mix it with the right other colour. Or right, you know, I know this is Northern talk, but don't mix it properly. It's just, for me, it's too babyish. So it needs to be with the right colours, definitely. So always think about your colours. Your colour makes, makes or breaks any print, print, I think. If it's not colours that go nice together, it's never, ever going to be a nice print. So there you go, see? That's nice, isn't it? So I'm going to leave that. I'm going to be stamping on that, or I might put some grunge paste on it or something later on. So that's one. So this, don't like this, do you? So I'm going to come back in here, clean up this jelly plate. Ta-da, getting better. I love this bit here, I want that bit really. So let's see if we can get that with something plain. Well, let's come back in with this because it's all pink. Let's see if we can get it with that. There, picking it up a little bit, not enough for me. So. I'm going to put some more on. So I'm going to come on this one this time. And all the time you're transferring these paints from one to the other, you're building up bits of background for you to pick up right at the end. And it looks gorgeous because you've got all these different colours that you're building. And it just, it just looks fabulous. So I'm going to transfer this to this jelly plate here. Then I'm going to transfer it onto here like this. Do I need more than one jelly plate? Works so well, see? Then you can just keep coming back in. And then when it gets dry, come back again. Add a bit more. Just remember where you put it. Go back in, pick it up. Ta-da! And then just keep going like that. And then you can put some circles on, some edging on. And that's starting to look like a nice backing paper, I think. Don't know what you think, but I think it looks nice. Just needs a little bit more, a little bit more mix of colour. Maybe a little bit of the blue gla glass. Blue glass? Yes, it's blue glass. So let's put the um, blue glass on this jelly plate. So let's do a bit more pattern transferring. Um, roll out the paint first. I'll see, I've still got some of the other paint on the base, so that's fine. Um... So, so this must be a semi-translucent, or yeah, it's translucent look. So that's why it the the lighter blue is mixed in more than the, the darker blue because it's translucent, kind of disappears, it kind of curdles in a way, um, which is what it's supposed to do. So, so it's not, we don't want a translucent for this technique really. So let's come back in with, how about a bit of yellow? So I'm going back onto this jelly plate. I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll this off because I don't want this blue. So I'm rolling all that off on the jelly plate. All this will get picked up later on. So that's okay. There you go. Now the yellow is also it, it, a little bit thin. It's I know it's it is opaque, but because of yellow is always a bit thinner. Well actually it's guacamole, sorry. No, there you go. Right, it's translucent, right. So that's why it's thinner, because it's translucent. It's um, normally red, I think. Is it red that's... Um, you have to put a lot of coats on on red because of the, the way it's mixed. And every single paint is mixed in a different way, so it all does something different. It all react, reacts in different ways, and it's all got different thicknesses. So there, now, this is starting to look like a real backing paper to me. 
and I'm starting to really like it so and get um this is a Chloe she said no that I'll come back on that one later let's do some circles uh, no try this one see of course if you've got loads of paint <laughs> on your stencil sometimes it doesn't work as well see how we're getting a nice background on here now as well so I'll finish off soon because I know this video is going on a little bit now. I just wanted to show you, this is me just warming up. I haven't even got started yet on my jelly plate and what I'm going to do. So I just wanted to show you where I go, how I start off, you know, what really gets me going. For for some of the prints, that I'm, I, I'm often quite surprised at myself and I, I look at them and think, did I do that? Well, not really. All my jelly plates did it. And, and my stencils and, and and the paints, every paint is just so different. And then, of course, there's inks as well. And, you know, inks look gorgeous off a jelly plate. This isn't picking up so well because I've got so much paint on it. That's all it is. So let's have another go with this. Don't worry about your hands. Paint washes off your hands a lot easier than ink does. But I'm going to try a different colour because it's translucent. It's not um, giving me what I need. I need it to just sit on top of the jelly plate a bit more. There, that's more like it. You can feel it straight away. So I'll come back in with this one. There. Can you see? It's just. It's still not giving me all because I need to pit. I need to um, clean the stencil. Oh, how horrific! What a thought. <laughs> So I'm going to do it with this one to show you, you need, you need it quite firm as well, see. Right, so, and do you know what colour I haven't got? I haven't got black. So I need to order black. Because I can't live without black. So I'm going to get rid of this again. When I come to do that as a print, I'll put a stack of pattern on there and then pick it up. And that'll be really nice. And the back of this is going to be quite nice as well, isn't it? So again, I'm going to show you again because I don't think the yellow and the guacamole are showing you what I'm trying to sh trying to show with this. The stencils. Because they give you... No, it's definitely not picking up. I need to definitely clean the stencil. and Because that, that is an opaque. So let's come back in with the little one again, put some more back on, and then I'll come back in, no, oh, I need to clean all my equipment, right, why isn't this working, let's get a different paint for now. Let's get a bit of this red, so maybe it just needs a thicker paint for this, because of course that's really thick, so that's going to find, it does find it hard to pick the pattern up. The blue worked really well, the Smurf, because it's so light against this colour. You can see all the others have been working, but because they're kind of blending in rather than sitting on top of, you can't really see it. Right, there you go. You've got to be very careful with red though, because sometimes it can look so yucky, even though it's my favourite colour. See, now if you slip the stencil too much as well, you're going to get um, the, the bit of the pattern that you're not looking for. We, we're looking for the the actual the circle bit of this pattern not the um not the edging which i am getting so yeah i'm gonna have to clean all my equipment oh, oh i can't believe it so let's go in with this and then i'm gonna show you on a white piece of card just before i go to show you that all this does work i'm not just pretending it does so there you go. Can you see now? This is what I'm trying to show you. Isn't that beautiful? Just putting it, picking your, track, your pattern up, putting it over here. Just little bits, all these little bits that just give you all these little bits of depth of pattern that you can then go over the top of. See? There, you can see it nicely on the white, can't you? See how interesting that is starting to look now. Isn't that lovely? So, you know, it's even though you can, I know you can't see this very well on the video. What I've just been doing on the coloured sheet, um, it you can see it, and it does show, and it does make a difference. Because at the end, when you come to stamp on it and everything, you've just got all these little, just these little bits and bobs to look at that that kind of a, a surprise within your colours and everything. 
So let's take some prints here. I'll do it on my on tags because I want some tags anyway. Um, just to start me off. So on this one, I, I want to get rid of the red. I don't want the red on here. Um, I'm, like I say, red's my favourite colour, but sometimes it can be just too much. See, that needs white. Um, so this is me cleaning up now. This is concrete. This is my new white. I absolutely love it. It's just got a little bit of depth to it. It's beautiful. There. Right, now let's do this. So I'm just rolling into this. So then this is going to be the print. Um, I'll go from halfway down and then do something different on top. There you go. So the next print is going to be nicer if it comes off. See, get better and better, see? This is why you warm up. That'll get what I'll do with that one. I'll roll her over that, or I'll come in with some little, you know, little top, um, bottle top circles and things. And there. Oh, see, look at this. This is gorgeous. Isn't that just delicious? Love it. So. This is me. This is where now I'm starting to really take my prints. All that play, it all gets used for different things. But this is what I'm really looking for. Things like this. Look at the depth in there. All the different layers, all the different colours. That's what you want from your jelly plate. And it's already on a tag. It's already useful. I can't bear it when people just do masses and masses of paper prints. And they're not making anything with them. Make something useful. Put it onto the thing you already want to want to decorate that you can put on your journal books you can even put it on on your tags these are little wooden tags so let's see if this works probably won't now i'm talking to you and saying it will but let's have a look so i'm going to um let's come in with a little bit of the dark a little bit of the pink and see what we can pick up we need a bit of pattern so and then i'm nearly done i promise you must be getting bored by now so Always light a colour first. Take that off on there. And the dark. And let's do some transferring. So you can do your transferring on, on the jelly plate as well. Love this. I can't get enough of this. I do love small pattern, I must admit. That's too much, so let's put a little bit of this in. This is one of my favourite clarity stamp stencils as well. It always just... I don't know something about it. It just looks really um, shabby chicish to me. I just, I love it. So, I'm going to pick my spot. I can go there and I can have all blue. I can go there and I can have all pink. I can go this way and have both, which is what I want. So, I'll just give it a little rub. And if you want to do tags double-sided so it doesn't look messy on the back, just turn it over and do the other side. And then also, you get to pick which side you want to use as well. So, ta-da! And then you want to pick some more bits up here. I want, I want to fill this edge. I don't want any straight edges, so just come back in. When it's a little bit wet, fill in your edges. There you go, see? Just fill that in. So leave some gaps. I think that's a lovely piece to work on. So here, I don't want this. I, I could fill it with other things, but I don't want to. So I want to carry the, the print on. So it needs a little bit more wet in. So I'll just come back in a bit more of each not too much because i don't want to overpower this this is what i want what's on the jelly plate is what i want so i don't want to overpower it and lose all that and, and ha just have this as my top color so i want to spread it thin and again i'm going to put some pattern back into it some circles and then this you're transferring the colors from one to the other as well so then I'm going to come in, I want a bit of this, and I want a bit of this. Right, so now what I want also is I want to make some word tags to go with these. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do it on a blank piece of paper now, and then I can stamp on that paper, and I've got matching tags with verses on and things. Because I can just stamp on it, you cut it up, put it onto these tags. 
Of course, you could do it on another tag, but I don't want to. <laughs> I want it on my... Oh, actually, no. See, that's not going to get used for tags now because isn't that gorgeous? So I just need this bit here to be a bit wetter so I can pick it up. Ta-da! <gasps> Lovely. So isn't that gorgeous? That's going to be a full card, that. I'll probably put some grunge paste on it or just do some stamping and doodling, I think, on there. This jelly plate, that's going to get some pattern on. That'll be lovely when I clean that up. See, I'll just pick that up pure as it is. So I'll put white on and get that one. That, I love the double-sided tag. So that'll probably be, um, I'll make that into one of my tag your it cards. So I'll stick it down there, slit it, cut it open. You've got an actual card and it's double-sided. Um, these... I know what I'm going to do with that. I'm going to have some sentiments on there, a little bit of ink on there, and some just um, some grunge paste on there. That, oh, I just love that. I would just put that on my wall, me. I don't know what you think, but I love that. So I think that'll be a special one. That, again, gorgeous. I like the split, so I'll make a feature of the split. So there you go, all jelly plate, jelly plate prints, already useful. It's not just bits of paper. So... Thanks for watching. If you watched to the end, thank you very much for being patient. And I'll come back soon if you like my video. Just put a little like if you like it. And if you want me to come back and do some more. Thank you. Bye.